Hello all, Shoestring here. This morning what we're going to do is talk about hooking up an inverter to your car. The reason you might want to do this is even though the car does have electrical connections inside, cigarette lighter, that type of thing, it's not enough if you actually are in an emergency situation and need to power something much bigger inside your house. This is not in a very effective way to do it, but if you have no other power source, this will work. So what we're going to do is I'm going to set a board here. You can do this if you want on your own, or you can just set it down on the car. I like putting it right here. There's nothing fancy about this car. It's just a simple sedan. This is an 8,000 watt pure sine wave inverter. It's 12 volt. I got it from AliExpress. Really inexpensive. And that's what we're going to use, this pure sine wave. Assuming we have something in the house we want to power in an emergency, such as lights, heaters, something, a refrigerator, freezer, something we don't want to lose while a power outage is going on. Remember, this is a temporary solution, but it will work simply because once the battery starts to go down, you can start the car up again and charge the battery right back up. So for a night or several hours, it is a good solution. Don't want to lose food in your refrigerator, what's in your freezer, and you don't want to lose your capability of keeping your kids and family warm or cool, depending on the time per year. This has two simple alligator clips, one positive, one negative. We're gonna connect it to our battery. This is just a standard 12 volt bar battery. Uh, make sure you don't mess up the positive from the negative. That would go poorly. So this one has a cap for the positive. We're just gonna remove that. We take our negative, we'll put it on first. Then we'll take the positive and put it on. Sometimes you'll get a little spark. Sometimes you won't. And there it is. Now, look over here. And we will turn it on. And you can see it comes on. Green light. And it says what the voltage is. Now, you can take an extension cord. Hook it in here. Take it into the house. I'm going to be using a small lamp just to show you that this works. Take the lamp, plug it in, light comes on. Real easy. And like I said, with an extension cord, plug same thing in here, you can bring it in your house and you can hook any devices you want, as long as it's not more powerful than the inverter if you're using. And don't forget not to let your battery go so far down it dies. Come out every so often, start it up. And that's a simple, easy solution to get power with an extension cord into your house in a time of crisis, power outage, some other disaster going on. If you like these type of videos, please like, subscribe, click the little bell, and... Shoestring out.